You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. I'll keep in touch with you once I find a place to stay. Take it easy. Thanks a lot. Hey guy, hasn't anyone ever told you to look before you cross the street? Um, excuse me? What's that? It's a stop sign. Are you buying or something? Now you've gone too far. For that, I'm gonna have to punch you in the stomach. <laughs> I just brought it. My style. <coughs> Submitted for your approval, the scene of a hit and run crime. Victim gets hit, <laughs> suspect drives away, witnesses tell their sides of the story. But today, our witness won't be saying a word to anyone, because he wouldn't know where to go to save them. You see, our witness is new in town, a drifter from another place. The sights and sounds are all fresh to him. The landscape is similar, but the lifestyle is not. He'll have to deal with this new place and its residents, and swallow in a new taste of reality. One so unique that a reality like that can only exist in the Twilight Zone. Hello, citizen. Do you know what tomorrow is? Um, uh... Tomorrow is one day closer to the end. Yes, that's right. The end of mankind as we know it. H how do you know this? The weather patterns are becoming more harsh. Global warming is taking its toll. Heat drives men to insanity. War and violence is all the news covers these days. More reported alien abductions. I have seen the alignment of the stars, and they all give the same answer, friend. We are going to die. Inside this pamphlet is more of the truth and instructions on how you can give back to our efforts. We accept cash or credit. Please make all checks payable to Lou Porkins. And you will be hearing from me, I mean us, if they bounce. And remember, keep your eyes on the skies. The end is on its way, death is imminent, and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh yes, there is. Probably won't even work. Man. <laughs> Here, let me help. Get away from 
me. No, wait, stop. Ow, no, no. I'm trying to help you. Stop my hand. Let me help you. Ow, ow, No, wait. No, you don't understand. Ow, ow, ow. No, I have the right to protect my body. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Well, have you found a place to stay while scouting out that new world we found? No, I, I didn't even bother looking for one. Oh? And may I inquire why you did not? Because this place is very... different from all the others. Oh? How so? Never in my travels throughout the galaxies have I ever seen anything quite like this new place, this... Earth, as they call it. So is the planet even worth colonizing? By the time our world puts all the time, money, and effort into sending colonists, the inhabitants of this world will have destroyed it and themselves. So to answer your question, no, it's not worth colonizing. Very well, return back to base. We have some new coordinates outlined for your next scouting mission. Acknowledged. I'm on my way. Why did they come here? Why are so many of them spotted each year by different individuals? Whatever the reasons, one thing is for sure. We never see them stick around to say hello. So the next time you see someone who might be new in town, give them a stern handshake and show them around. Because everyone needs a place to stay, even if that place resides in the Twilight Zone.